Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're reviewing anything and everything. Today we're getting into a, this is an Anchor, um, not a power station, but a USB hub. Um, and the reason why I purchased this, and I'm going to get into more details later inside the video, but don't mind the mess, the kitchen table. But essentially, the um, I purchased this because I had a different USB hub, and this one tends to stop when I'm trying to transfer large files from um, to external hard drives I have. So I wanted to test this out to see if this would work better. So we're going to rip into this now. And... Even as a harder time than what I thought. Give me one moment. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so apparently there was some tape on the side. But uh, here we go. And we've got a total of five ports. These are USB C and two USB A and HDMI. So, being the anchor is a very known high quality company at least you know they've been doing this for a while i'm going to see if they are able to function better than this other one which is almost like a no name on link one that i had for a while and it's been doing that for a long time where it conks in and out now i'm going to pause the video i'm going to actually test it out and then i'm going to come back with my view on actually using it to see if it actually worked okay you guys we are back with the anchor um usb hub and I had the chance to test it out. And so I don't know if to say that this is a knock on the device or not. It might just be simply a fine device, but maybe I'm having issues somewhere else. But my intended purposes, as I mentioned earlier in the video, was to purchase this because my older one <coughs> was having problems with my um, portable hard drives. When I put them into, I, I use a Mac, a MacBook Air, and when I put them into, I plug this, the hub into the Mac, which takes USB-C, and then from there I would plug in in USB-A, the hard drives, I have two of them now that I was trying to transfer, some information, some data, they would eventually just shut out of the computer and they would say they were inject they were ejected uh incorrectly and you know when you have things like that happen you do run the risk of messing up your memory and possibly even even getting to the point where you can lose all your data i've never had that happen before per se i had have had stuff like that happen actually with um with SD cards, micro SD cards, actually for the phone a couple of years back. So I'd say that to say it can happen. Now, I don't know if that's an issue with my Mac, if there's an issue with the hard drives, is an issue with the compatibility with the hard drives, with the Mac, it's able to display my files on them. But when I try to transfer, it doesn't last long as if, I don't know, maybe it's not enough power going to them. And that's what I thought possibly as well. And if that's an issue too, where not enough power is coming from the USB hub into the, because those are plugging in through here, if they're not, if it's not establishing enough power to run the um, external hard drive sufficiently enough, which I've never known that to be a thing, then that would also then kind of come on a knock on the hub as well. Um, <clears throat> but I did use adapters to plug them into the USB-C so that way maybe that would give it more power coming through. Nonetheless, it's still a another form of adapter, but I didn't know if that would make a difference. That didn't as well. So in terms of, <clears throat> I'm not going to say whether this is a bad um, USB hub or not, <clears throat> but what I am going to say is it didn't work for my purpose. So just be mindful of that and be aware of that. I'm going to have the link in the description down below so you can purchase it on Amazon. Maybe you would be able to use it without any issues. Anyone else who's ever used any Anchor hubs before or any hubs in general, uh, let me know down below if you've ever had any kind of issues like that. Just to reiterate, you plug in 
um, a USB external hard drive. So not a flash drive or something like that, that doesn't take as much power, but hard drive, you know, the ones that, that the external hard drives where they start spinning on the inside and they're really looks like they're revving up. They need a lot of power. They're trying to transfer a lot of files in the midst of transferring a lot of files. We'll say something over 10 gigs or somewhere in that frame or more. Do you run into those kind of problems? Post down below just so I get an idea. And so other people who are watching the channel and watching their view can get an idea as well. With that being said, you guys like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.